My guest tonight is an award-winning actor known most for her roles in HBO's Westworld, Across the Universe, and is the voice of Queen Aduna in Frozen. She'll be seen in the upcoming film Kajillionaire, which opens in select theaters this Friday. I'm thrilled she's here. I love talking to her. Please welcome Evan Rachel Wood. How are you? I'm good. I'm really good. How are you doing? I'm good. Where are you right now? I'm at my house. Um, I'm, I'm still kind of quarantining in, in my home, doing homeschool and trying to work and be a single mom all, all at once. Oh, it's my really God, bad. that's right. I don't know anything. I don't know any basic math beyond, say, third grade level. I honestly yeah. couldn't help uh, my kids. So I give, it, I give it up for you because that's tough to be a single parent right now during COVID. It'd be tough. Yeah, you should have seen me this morning trying to Zoom call uh, and work while he was supposed to be doing school. And I'm having this serious conversation. He comes up behind me and he puts a fireman hat on me. And I, <laughs> just, I just looked at my meeting and shrugged. And, you know, at least everyone's very compassionate with each other right now. So I think it's, it's fine. But, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Well, it sounds like you handled it well in the 1970s when I was uh, a young man that age. When we did stuff like that to our parents, they lost it on us. They, you know, that's, that's yeah. what happened. That's what used to happen in the good old days. Yeah, you just get a backhand. Like <laughs> <laughs> There was no physical hitting, but there was that's emotional, good. emotional scarring, emotional scarring. Uh, I love what you're wearing. I love, uh, again, you have done such a cool thing. You are known for bringing a uh, very classy, cool pantsuit sort of looks back into the public eye. And I commend you because you look amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just keeping up with tradition. Yeah. It's, do you have a, what's your collection like? Is it incredible at this point, your collection? You know, it's funny. Um, I actually had a friend call and ask me if she could borrow a suit the other day. And I said, I, I actually, I don't have any. And she said, what are you talking about? I was like, I borrow all my clothes. Really? I don't, I don't, I don't actually get to keep any of these suits. Okay. Um, so, but, uh, so you're literally borrowing stuff. Like you'll, you'll find out that you have to zoom with Conan O'Brien in 10 minutes and you're running out the door asking neighbors, can I borrow a pantsuit? <laughs> I have a very lovely stylist who helps me out, but I, but I don't actually get to keep any of this. You know, I basically model it and then give it back. So it's all an illusion. <laughs> we, uh, we found this photo of you when you were a little kid and you're still wearing a suit. That's true. Actually, I mean, yes, I have. I have been rocking the suits for quite some time. Yeah. Look at me. Look at my little look at my little business haircut I have. No, I love this. It looks like you're there to uh, sue somebody. Looks like you're a lawyer. And you're there. <laughs> you're there. Um, you know, all That's of what us I was going for. All of us are trying to get through this the best that we can, and we're finding ourselves making decisions we might not make otherwise. I understand that you've been f fostering a dog. You've been taking care of a dog temporarily. Is that true? Oh, my God. What's his name? Yes. This is Tommy. This is Tommy. He's I a little know. old man. Oh. <laughs> but he's like the sweetest dog ever. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm home all the time now. Usually I'm working and traveling and I, I can't take care of a dog. But um, yeah, I had a friend reach out. I was not planning on having a dog that day. And then the next thing I know, I got, I got this guy. So if you go to uh, at, at Wagmore, um, if anybody's interested in adopting little Tommy, I'm going to have him until he finds a forever home. Okay, but I so mean, look at this. Look at his face. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> you know what I have to say? He doesn't look thrilled to be seeing me. Uh, he... <laughs> His face kind of fell like, oh, that one, that, that hop, that host. Huh. <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, I want to get the word out because if someone's out there who would love a sweet, uh, older, I would, let's just say mature, mm -hmm. dog, a mature dog. He's mature. Yes. And, and it's yes. at Wagmore. Mm-hmm. Wagmore. Yeah. Wagmore. Just M M M O R. Yeah. Um, and he's, yeah, he's a sweetie and he's, very low maintenance you know he's he doesn't do, he doesn't do a whole lot now except just want to be cuddled and fed and yeah so if anybody wants a little tommy he's here yeah i'm telling you as someone who's quite a bit older than you that happens later on yeah i want to be, I want to be cuddled i want to be held uh occasionally dragged onto the porch to take care yeah. of whatever i have to take care of and then dragged back in again that's exactly I, right that's pretty much my life um, <laughs> let's talk about kajillionaire um, this is a very uh, unusual, and I mean that in a good way, movie. It's very uh, distinctive. 
your character is, I mean, maybe you could, why don't you describe your character's old Dolio? Well, first of all, the hair over, I can almost do it now because I've grown out my hair. I see that. But (laughs) you have hair over your face a lot of the time. And then your movements, um, I mean, you're a very gifted actor, so I'm not surprised that you can do this, but your movements are very distinctive and almost look like you you had to really think about how this character moves. 100%. Uh, uh, Miranda July, uh, the director, and I would get together and uh, do strange exercises and improvs to try to find the physicality. We ended up actually drawing a lot from animals, weirdly. Oh. Um, and, and, and so when people say, what did you base this character on? I say, a proud lion who became our, our, our sort of blueprint for her. That's so interesting because... Um though I'm not an actor, when I started doing uh, the talk show many, many years ago, I was thinking about what, would, who is, who, what do I want to embody? And I came up with scared lemur, you know, just like, <laughs> this is just, this is just kind of like wide-eyed, <laughs> nervous, uh, somewhat bird-like. So I, I'm familiar with Nailing that. it. <laughs> Only I've been doing it for 27 years and everyone's like, enough, enough. You know, there's a, yeah. your, your um, really impressive moment in the film where you're sort of, your character is very sneaky, has to be, because you really have to live by your wits and your ability to get around situations. There's this scene where you bend backwards and I thought, is that CGI? Was that CGI when your character... Old Dolio bends backwards? No, in fact, th- this happens to me a lot in my career. Um, like, I, I on uh, the show I do, Westworld, yeah. uh, tiny show that I do. Um, <laughs> yeah, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Um, like, I had to ride a horse at full speed with uh, while shooting a rifle. So riding, riding on a running horse with no hands, holding this, like, heavy rifle. And I, and I really did it. And everyone thought it was CGI or thought I was uh. strapped to the horse. And I was like, no. And now with Kajillionaire, they think that this is CGI or that I was on a wire. And I'm like, no, I'm, look, I am actually do- doing these things with my body. I'm actually doing this. Um, it's not CGI. Um, so well, how yeah, do you that, that was I mean, a weird is skill. Is that is that yoga? Years of yoga? Do you do? <laughs> did you have? No. <laughs> did you have like your spinal column, like a few vertebrae removed? How do you do that? Okay, I don't know why, but I've weirdly been somewhat of like a limbo uh, champion as <laughs> as a child and growing up. I was I was always the one at bar mitzvahs that won whatever weird hat or prize you know if you could do the limbo challenge. And so I don't know why it's just a strange skill that I have that okay now has become immortalized in right. in this film. I so, love yeah, that's, that's I love that me. you you brought up all my life I've been a limbo champ. When never in my life have I been asked to do limbo. <laughs> it's never come to, I don't know where, where in the world are you living that you go to events and people are like, well, it's limbo time. <laughs> well, growing up as a kid, it's like in the 90s, I don't know, birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, sure. weddings, just weird, weird things like that. Yeah, limbo. You know, last uh, time that we were talking, you mentioned that uh, you're really into karaoke and during COVID, I'm wondering, is that something you're able to do at home? Do you do a lot of karaoke at home? So it's kind of gotten a, a bit out of hand. I, I, uh, I have, I, I've managed to have homes that have basements in them. And uh, I, it started with like one little karaoke machine and like a string of lights. And it's evolved into uh, the, the next house that I moved into had a giant basement. And I, I basically spent this year turning it into a 1960s tiki karaoke lounge like with vintage furniture and like I painted all the walls and I hung like disco lights and it's very elaborate like somebody walked down there the other day and looked at me like I was crazy they were like what is this (laughs) you know Evan Um, you you know what it sounds like to me Evan it sounds like a code violation it sounds like you are running a legitimate Polynesian restaurant in your basement it it I could yes I could Probably, I need a permit for this. Um, yeah. So, yes, I, I have been able to karaoke. I actually just celebrated my, my 33rd birthday and um, safely had, you know, people tested, like, three pe- people who came over. And we actually 
reenacted like every Broadway show in the basement, complete with a version of It's a Hard Knock Life with my friends with mops and brooms doing a whole choreographed number. And it was, it was wonderful. Yeah, it was, it was very needed in such a gloomy time. <laughs> Just pure yeah, silliness. I I, you're, you're, I know that you love music and uh, anyone who loves music or even doing stand-up or working in front of a live crowd, that's what we're all jonesing for during COVID. I mean, I miss, I really miss restaurants and I miss yeah. audiences. Um, and I'd love to eat uh, a really good meal in front of an audience. That would be my dream to, you know, in COVID. Fantastic. Uh, yes. But I would um, like to just blow up, blow out my birthday candles. You know, you can't even like, people can't even blow out their birthday candles on their cakes. Anymore. Right. It's crazy. Right. Well, your band, uh, but it's Evan and Zane. Evan what, and was Zane. The what, what was the last um, performance that you did? What was the last, what, could you remember? Cause I can remember my last live performance, I think was in this theater. Day, like and then two days later everything was shut down mm -hmm. so i have this fond memory do you remember the last time that you guys performed live yes the last time we performed live every year we do um an anti-valentine's day show we've we've kind of turned february 15th into the polar opposite of valentine's day because our band started with this idea i had of you know singles and brokenhearted people have nowhere to go during this holiday so i was like let's cram a bunch of people into a bar and sing just the saddest, most depressing songs about heartbreak and misery. And it turned yeah. out to be this very cathartic, amazing night. So now we've made it an annual thing. Um, and so, yeah, February 15th, I believe, was our last show live. Um, and we just performed our first streaming show. And you must be able to relate to this, how no one claps after anything that you do. Like, no one laughs at jokes. No one. You mean, are you talking about during, uh, during Zoom or in my entire career? <laughs> uh i don't know <laughs> during zoom i just served that one up right <laughs> um no, but i know what you mean because but, uh, we're used it's to weird feedback. we're used to feedback yeah feeding off of the audience's energy we have none of that and so you don't know whether or not you're bombing or what um we we did a rage against the machine song uh <laughs> killing in the name and Man, I think that's the first time that song has ever been played to just a room full of no one. And <laughs> the song ends with me just screaming, F you, I won't do what they tell me, like over and over. And I really went for it, just, F you, I won't do what you tell me. And then, crash. <clears throat> so, okay. Like I'm like dripping sweat. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very strange experience. Yeah, and very, then you very get strange. The, the, then the doorbell rings and it's your Postmates delivery. And you're like, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Or like somebody interrupts the streaming with like a text message or a Zoom call or something. You're like, oh, sorry, sorry. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> my son, my son runs on a stage, puts a fireman hat yes, on me. You know, it's you just go. like, that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you just have to shelve Rage Against the Machine during, you know, until you get an audience back. Or just That's lean in. Maybe we should just only do crazy loud songs and just, just right. go for it. You know what I should start doing is telling jokes and when I don't get a response, lose my temper <laughs> and yell as if, what the F's your problem? Yeah. <laughs> what, what the f man? You know, this is a pretty good joke. What's wrong with you? And just completely escalate until I'm taken away. That would be great. There you go. We're, we're, we're getting close. We're getting close. Uh, well, let me make sure I get this out because Kajillionaire, uh, really a beautifully done, it opens in select theaters this Friday, September 25th. And uh, also I want to give another plug for uh, this dog that you're fostering. Uh, where is he? Let's get a home for this guy. You know, what a sweetheart. Yeah, he what really a sweetheart. is. What, what's the website again? Wagmore. Wagmore, W-A-G-M-O-R. Mm-hmm. Great. All right. Let's get him a home. Um, Evan, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. It's always so good to see you. I hope yes. next time it's in person. Yes. Next time I hope it's in person. And uh, I'm going to get you more guitars for your back wall because just one can look sad. It is, it is, it is a little sad in here. I agree. You, okay. you got a whole setup. <laughs> Stuff everywhere. Junk. It's not even mine. But um, <laughs> thank you so much and stay safe and uh, belated happy birthday. Thank you so much. Yeah, you too.